Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Ridley. I use the AxoTrack needle guidance system for all of my central lines, and I've developed some techniques that I would like to share with you. I hope you will find them helpful. One of the primary benefits of the AxoTrack device is that it enables the performance of an ultrasound guided subclavian central line placement. Here, I will show you how I perform this procedure. To begin a procedure, assemble the transducer and sterile shield from the AxoTrack 1 procedure kit and preload the needle into the integral needle guide. Start preloading the needle by rotating the needle clamp fully forward with your thumb to the open position such that the needle guide opening is unobstructed. Then place the magnet against the proximal end of the magnet rail to stabilize the needle as you move the needle tip into alignment with the needle guide opening. To maintain needle sharpness, avoid hitting the needle tip against any surface as it is preloaded into the needle guide. With the needle in the guide, move the needle forward and backward. As you do this, confirm the needle movement is mirrored by the virtual needle movement on the sonogram. Now, Move the needle until its tip is just protruding from the base of the sterile shield and confirm on the sonogram that the virtual tip is visible at the top of the sonogram. Observing that needle movement is synchronized and that the virtual needle tip is properly located on the sonogram confirms that the system is ready for use. At this point, retract the needle slowly until the virtual needle just barely disappears from the sonogram. Then secure the needle in place by rotating the needle clamp backward with your thumb to the closed position. Check to be sure that the needle tip is not protruding from the bottom of the sterile shield. Hold continuous gentle pressure on the needle clamp to maintain the needle in its safe, retracted position during patient scanning and until you are ready to advance the needle toward its target. Now I will show on our model an example of how I perform a subclavian central line using AxoTrack. To begin, it is often helpful to reposition the patient's arm to find the best view of the subclavian vein. A good starting point is with the patient's arm in the throwing position. Apply a liberal amount of sterile gel and place the probe at the angle of the clavicle and point underneath the clavicle. While still maintaining gentle pressure on the needle clamp, scan back and forth to find the subclavian artery and medial to that the subclavian vein. Adjust the patient's arm until the best view of the subclavian vein is obtained. Observe that deep to the subclavian artery and vein, the pleura appears as a bright linear streak. Align the on-screen target line with the subclavian vein and prepare to advance the needle. Note that until the needle tip penetrates the skin, you may need to increase pressure with the probe to prevent image loss. However, once the skin is penetrated, you can let off pressure and proceed to advance the needle while observing the virtual needle as it approaches the vein. Hold the needle assembly and syringe approximately as shown. Then release the needle by rotating the needle clamp fully forward with the thumb to the open position. Advance the needle to the vein while keeping the magnet against the magnet rail. As the anterior wall of the vein deflects under the pressure of the needle tip, slow down and while pulling back on the syringe plunger, gently pierce the vessel. The anterior wall will spring back once it is punctured, which is confirmed by blood flash in the syringe. 
Now adjust the needle tip so that it is in the upper half of the lumen and actuate the needle clamp to secure the needle tip in place. While holding pressure on the needle clamp, pop the syringe off the needle by pinching the space between the syringe and the needle hub. Check that the needle bevel is facing up and with the open side of the J of the guide wire also facing up, advance the guide wire. The guide wire entering the vein can often be observed in real time on the sonogram. While maintaining gentle pressure on the needle clamp, withdraw the probe and needle over the guide wire, gripping the guide wire between the thumb and first or second finger once the needle tip clears the skin surface. Continue with the Seldinger technique.